to me, when women can grow up freely and in freedom and not in fear of their lives and as equals and do what women do naturally and well as women without trying to be men, that's when we're going to have a world that is really exciting. Two things when I think about a world without genocide. One is a world in which women can live uh, in freedom from being afraid for their lives. And the other is freedom from slavery. Girl children, baby children, the extent of female infanticide today, the extent of the mutilation of the genitals of young women, the disposal killing of unwanted barren women and widows. Right now this leaves vast proportions of the world po world's population living in fear. So as more women become free to express what the deep feminine really is, and we have almost no archetypes of what the deep feminine is, certainly not of what the, if you like, the the older, strong, deep feminine archetype is. We, we, we pay very little attention to wise women these days. And when we begin to do that, then we'll learn how to live in harmony with our surroundings, with our planet, and to share the resources that are currently getting so scarce that if we don't cooperate, there ain't going to be no great-grandchildren. We'll never get rid of conflict, that's a feature of human life. In fact, it can be very creative. But we have now got the possibility of getting rid of war. And that makes our future really quite incredible.